yeah, let's continue on to the underground now. Uh, if you're watching later on YouTube, thanks for clicking. Hope you're enjoying. Okay. So, something just occurred to me as well. There was some lady in the mountains that I should have gone to find, but I didn't. But that's okay. I was supposed to go do that. But we can do that later. Let's not, let's not follow that rabbit hole. Oh, this, on the other hand, I will, because this is just easy money. You've been in this one, right? Let me have a look. This is easy money, so I, I don't count this as a distraction. It's right here. I found a lot of wells, so... Hey, it's you. I'm fascinated by the many old wells across Hyrule, but new wells are pretty interesting too, like this one. You come across... Yeah. 19 of them this time. Nice. 36 to find. I found like there was a tool for searching for things. Let's chat again. Oh, I took a photo of the well. That's why you can take a photo of a well. That makes sense now. I was like, why is it registering? Yeah. So it's okay. We already set that up. Unintentionally. Okay. Uh, adventure log... Not that one. Oh, I guess that later. Um, Mystery in the depths. All right, let's. Let's get started. She's gonna say the same thing. Yeah, yeah. Follow the gaze of the statues. Okay, so let's just go straight down here. The underground is big. I mean... It's effectively the size of Hyrule, so... Okay, so the statue is facing this way. So here's the thing, the champion leathers are good armor, but they, I just find them so boring, <laughs> visually. I just find- I'd rather wear this, to be honest. This looks- this looks better. Yeah. I'm more happy with this. It's too vanilla. Oh. Oh. I was wondering when these were going to turn up. Okay, so it's not like how it is in Twilight Princess.
This is gonna be tough because I don't have arrows. I mean, I have just a very finite amount of them. So there's a treasure location that I might go back for. Yeah. Light route. Okay. Especially since I went to the effort of getting these old maps. Detail, but it's within the underground, so that's acceptable. Daphne's Canyon Mine. Yeah. Is this it? I guess this is it. Oh, that's neat. Looks like I'm wearing Christmas lights. I mean, I... I, I if you look at it, <laughs> I'm wearing Christmas lights. It's just chains. I'm just wearing Christmas lights. I need a new... Wait, what sword is this? That's knights. We need this one. We need to make this an axe. Oh, sorry, a hammer. Does that count as a hammer? That would become an axe. We don't want an axe. We need a hammer. Why would they put a rock that gives you an axe for this area? It's a mining facility. Yep. 
Nothing here to make an axe out. I mean, hammer out of. Not that it's super important. I just thought maybe I could. Oh, what is this? It's a large deposit. I wonder if there's anything even here. So just a large deposit of this, not really anything else. Eh, yeah, still. I guess it's mining. Okay, let me go for... It's this one. <laughs> I hope. I don't really have a bearing of which one. That's fine. The statues will lead me to the correct spot. Okay, statue there. There's a statue. Okay, so if we follow the statue's gaze, there we go. It keeps going this way. Alright, we're good. I wonder if this is this area's version of Koroks. Oh, what are you? Crocs. No, I'm keeping that one. That's a, that's a classic. Oh, you got an icon for material. Hold on. That's good. You can see which one's a material. That makes it easier. What? You can't get a fox on? That's lame. Wait a minute. Why do I get the why do I why am I getting deja vu like I've seen this thing before? It's not like I mean there was a frog in Link's Awakening, but it wasn't really canon, I guess, because it was a dream. Where have I seen this enemy before? I've seen this enemy somewhere before, but I'm not sure it's Zelda. Where have I seen this before? Yeah. 
see, the problem... The problem here... say this thing's deal. Doing that thing again. <laughs> it just got stuck inside there. Going for the defense bar. What, what is going on? You want to talk about jank climbing? Not good. Dude, why? Why does this keep happening? Yeah, hit me through the wall. Hit me through the wall. Yeah. It's good. <laughs> so annoying. What have I got lots of?
doesn't give me the time of day here. It's, there we go. I got a minute to resolve this in. Fuck off! So it's only a it's only a fourteen. What weapon am I using? It's a uh, this thing. It's the one that I got from fighting the tier three flux boss. Yeah, much that was worth it. It's honestly worth going to fight that boss just to do- just to get that thing. Okay, where is this pointing? That way. still bothering me because I feel like I've seen that or something similar to that somewhere. Oh, okay. Pretty far away from the treasures, but that's okay. What is this? Wheels? Machines? Yeah. 
I guess they're the next one here. What is this? Oh. Tra what? Oh, shit. They're like... They're normal weapons? Non-decayed weapons. Why? Um... I guess it's, it's a stronger base. It's a nine. Yeah, these are stronger. It's a seven. I mean, they're strong, so why not? Why are they not decayed? Okay, the next staff is facing that way. Yeah, there we go. According to Kai, this location will be destroyed. Glory to Master Koga. If I'm reading that correctly. Oh, jeez. Is this just one... Oh, please don't tell me this is just one lengthy quest to do Yiga shit. Good, I backed into that anyway. Oh no, this is going to be a common thing. Yep, okay. How did I, how did I get the feeling that that was going to be a thing? Yeah, I'm not messing with that. Yeah. 
Yeah, he startled me. Wait, someone else? What's someone else doing here? Oh, you must be the reinforcements for investigating the tree. Investigating the tree? What? Was I wrong? I thought for sure you were here to help investigate this humongous tree. I mean, just take a look. You see the tree's glowy core looking thing? Hmm. Somehow that light is capable of restoring vitality lost to gloom. So rumor goes anyway. I'm here to find out if that's true. Ah, uh, but you know, that's not my only mission down here. I've been asked to approach and eliminate the Yiga clan's greatest foe, you. Yeah. Good. Okay, first. Get some light on the situation. Still with the banana thing. Yeah, the fact that these dickheads are down here, ugh. Yiga just teach it to not trust in humanity. <laughs> Don't trust your fellow man. They could be assassins. to the statue. I figured they were going to be more of a common occurrence now. Oh. Did I... Is this one that I didn't get, or is this new? This is new. Another traveler's spear. This is eerie, but cool. Uh... I mean, I feel like... Yeah, that's just going to be superior in every way, no matter what. The Royal Halberd is nice, but it's decayed, so... Well, you know what? Hold on. Keep the Royal one. Get rid of this one. This, because this one, they're just garbage. Royal guard, the royal guard set is just trash. It just breaks too easily. Alright, what was the previous statue? Previous statue is pointing that way. Okay, so head. Yeah. Again, the, these trees are just 
Uh, okay. That's where it's headed. Yeah. See it already. Yeah. that that's either friendly or it's uh grandpa Abandoned central mine. Okay, but there's a, there's a gate here. I didn't think we'd see anyone else down here. But I imagine you could say the same to us, huh? Uh, you're here to investigate too, right? You know, since you took the... You, uh, uh, yeah, okay. Let's see you guys again. Definitely took the interview. Yep, that's why we're here. <laughs> Take a look at this. Our latest discovery nearly knocks us off our feet. We found this weird device with these wavering green letters on it and this strange statue. We think it's one of those living stone constructs too. It's supposed to move too. Well, I say that, but it's all just conjecture on my part. Truth is... We're in a bit of a panic here. If we don't figure out how this thing works soon, we're going to get in big trouble. There you go. They're just called generic researchers. Reach it. Yeah. Researchers. Mm -hmm. Interview two. Oh. Okay. Hang on. Oh. Mm. Text is correct. Then this construct should hold the power we seek. Mm. Can I just shoot them now? I know who you are. Oh. I know who you are. You're going to betray me in a second. Huh? Hey. What? It's moving. Conferring auto build to authorize it now. Please utilize it as you explore and excavate the depth for zonite. Auto builder. Instantly recreate your Ultra Hand projects using nearby items. Auto build records your previous creations. Oh. Did I see what I thought I saw? That thing just gave you the power we've been researching. Oh. That's incredible. Could you give us a demonstration? Let me see what the text has to say. Hold on. Um, this ability would allow you to commit any structure you create to memory. Any object committing to memory can be instantly reproduced. Oh. I know just what to use it on. As luck would have it, both of our vehicles broke, and we're just struggling to put them back together again. Oh. The one on the round pedestal lost the wheel. Ah. Uh. The one on the square pedestal has fallen to pieces. But I think if you put the wheel back on the first one, you should be able to use your power to repair the second <laughs> one. Okay. They're going to betray me. Huck. 
I should just do this incorrectly. So if I need to build a car, <laughs> I can do it quickly. Look at that, the wheel's back on there, snug as a bug. Time for the main event. The one in pieces on the square pedestal. Use the power of yours and fix it up lickety split. Okay. Ah. Uh? Hey, what's the big idea? I mean, that's cool. Oh, it's like I'm seeing double. Built in less than no time flat, too. This is exactly what I was hoping for. Thank you, Ancient Power. The texts are right after all. I'll say, that power's incredible. Oh, master! I thought so. Well, look at that. The legends were true. You know what? This makes sense. We kicked him down here. Great work, both of you! You too, stranger. Credit where credit is due. Yes, credit where credit is due. If there's one foe I'll never forget, it's the man who cast me from my Gerudo Desert hideout into these very depths. It was you! Now I live for vengeance both upon that no good Zelda and upon my sworn enemy. That means you, Link. We meet again at last! Don't try to Tell me you've forgotten me. We are bound by fate, you and I. <clears throat> Hear my name and tremble in fear. I am the leader of the Yiga clan. The strong, the depth defying, from the ashes rising, Captain Ginyu! Just kidding. He just does the Captain Ginyu thing. <laughs> Master Koga. But I wouldn't be surprised if there's a little inspiration from that. I saw it all. The moment I saw, the moment you obtained the ancient power we've sought for so long. The highlight of all the musty old texts we found in this land. It remembers objects you've assembled and can instantly reproduce them. The long lost ability from the distant past. So you, you, you're cheating. Here we are working ourselves to the bone to build things by hand. And you just whip them up in an instant. That's not fair. You know who could have used that power? The one we worship. The ro The magnificent one. We offered it to him. He would have crushed you and Zelda both if we offered it to him. But you just walked right up and snatched it away. Now you're gonna now I'm gonna snatch it back. <laughs> oh my god. Prepare yourself! Oh good lord. This is this <laughs> This is insane. And so I'll take your fighter! Did that work? It didn't. Shit. Fighter! Okay. Now I can kick your ass. Okay, that doesn't work. Now it's mine! <laughs> okay, okay. You're not gonna let me have it, huh? I'm going to slap you with my... my stick. Oh my god, get fucking destroyed. <laughs> I think I just jumped a few phases. 
Oh, okay. Well, this fight's done. <laughs> I may be um a little bit strong. I mean, funny, if I would have come here first. Ah, you pesky little pest. Why won't you stand still and let me squish you? Well, I suppose I can let you off easy for today. You think you're so smart? But I've already found a whole bunch of ruins down here. I saw your little trick. You used your right hand to get that construct going. I'll grab that power you cheated me out of for myself off at the southwest and abandoned mine. The magnificent one and I will guide this world to its miserable end. And there's nothing you can do to stop us. <laughs> so don't follow me! I just love that they've upped his cartoon villain level. Yeah, this this weapon is is kind of ridiculous. Excuse me. Thank you for repelling the trespassers. I hope you'll pardon me for listening in on your conversation. That man mentioned an abandoned mine to the southwest. I suspect that he is referring to the former Gerudo mine. That place flourished with activity long ago like this one. All was constantly unearthed and refined. There are statues that point the way to the abandoned Gerudo mine. Follow them to reach its destination. I recommend you begin by making your way to the light you see over there. One more thing before you set out on your journey. There is something I would like you to have. Please speak with my associate when possible. These robots are really polite. Thank you for driving out the trespassers. I will no longer need to hide in order to avoid detection. There is another reason that it is good you have come. I see that you have the ability to auto-build. That means this schema stone I carry is for you. Saves a schematic and builds it in command. Right, so we can save it. The new design has been registered with auto-build. You should be able to auto-build an additional design. Please wait while I prepare the necessary parts for you to test the schema stone. This is cool. I mean, man, the, the mechanics they've built for this game. Schema stones can help you build things you have never before imagined. I hope you find this one useful. This is, this is great for those that... No, Link, you're not supposed to light it on fire. You're supposed to build it. It's cool. Very cool. Schema stones can help you build things, you know. I you find this one useful. Yeah, okay. I mean, that's, that's nice. Hold on. What is this? Oh, yeah, you know what? That's fine. I can do that. It's safe. What is this? I am grateful for you to driving out the trespasses. I press I was processing Zona into other materials. It was necessary that I flee to avoid detection, but I am at liberty now to train Zonite for process materials. Zonite is processing by smelting it into a furnace. It is thereby converted into materials with useful properties. Okay, so NI charges and crystal I charge are choose two such examples. Right. It's a shop. I mean that's that's neat. For now, no, we're good. I feel like I've gotten a lot of it, so. Yeah, 
You know the thing missing from this? There's no steering on it. They give you a plane, but no steering. Oh, this is this is going to end well. Find out what pose are for now too. whilst it's doing this. I guess I'm guessing we can leave here now. Because what was it? It was... Yeah, so now we go back to Joshua. Alright, cool. We could, I guess this is one of these things that you can keep going, but I think we're good for the time being. <laughs> I just, I, I feel like I'm barely scratching the surface of this game. But I've almost done 50 shrines, but it still doesn't feel like uh, I'm anywhere close to being done. Yeah, there's a lot to do, for sure. Swordsman, what is it? You look very pleased with yourself. Could it be? Huh. Auto build? With the ability to instantly replicate things you've built and schema stones? Oh. So there really was a Zonai temple housing a mysterious power down in the depths. Mm -hmm. Hmm, that may also mean that some of the things collected from the depths may give us other clues. Just wait here a sec. Um. Hmm, nope. Not that. Nope, not that either. Aha! Here we go. <laughs> Here, swordsman. Oh, another one. Hot air balloon. Uh -huh. This is a schema stone for a balloon, right? If you use this with auto build, you could replicate a balloon, right? I'm thinking. Okay, yeah. this is like... That balloon over there belongs to goggles, but it's broken now. You think you could fix it with auto build? E so exciting. I want to see it in action pronto, so I'll go prepare real quickly. Okay. Swordsman, everything's ready. Please demonstrate how auto build replicates things. <laughs> Double tutorial, my favorite. I can't believe it, you rebuilt the balloon in an instant. This this mysterious power goes beyond scientific explanation. Go goggles! Hey! Goggles! Oh. What are you yelling about, Joshua? Oh. Inconceivable! My balloon, it's fixed! 
this must be the mysterious power the Zone I had. I never thought I'd see such a marvel with my very own eyes. Thank you for making this a reality. Please take this. I've been saving it for a special occasion. Yes, have this have this large rock. I've been saving it for a special occasion. I still haven't been able to figure out what it is. But judging from that light, it's got to be Zonai in origin. Since you can use Zonai powers, I think it would better be for you to have it. Yeah. Be better for you to have it. There was an incredible power lying hidden in the depths after all. I think I'll keep researching the depths going forward. Who knows, I might find a clue about Princess Zelda. If you make any new discoveries in the depths, please let me know, swordsman. Yeah, there's, uh, there's a dude that I kicked down there. Um, yes, did you need something, swordsman? Hey! No way, Koga, the leader of the Giga clan, was there? Oh, this is dangerous. Hey. I've got to regain my composure. Okay, come this way. I wonder what he's been surviving on. Mushrooms and bugs. So you face Koga in the depths. Hmm. What's the leader of the Yiga clan up to down there? From what I know, the Yiga clan is a super dangerous group that schemes against the kingdom of Hyrule. And Koga has had it out for you and, the prin and Princess Zelda for a long time. He'd do anything to put an end to your lives. Despite everything we've, we're looking into already, we just can't take our eyes off this threat. Besides, Koga could know what's happening to What's happened to the princess? That would make a lot of sense. If you do go after him, keep in mind that I'll be continuing my research of the depths from right here. Uh -huh. Oh, by the way, do you know about the Forest of Time, south of uh, Hyrule Field? There's a chasm there, and I've gotten reports of another series of statues found at the bottom of it. These statues are different from the ones you showed me using the camera. They seem to point the way somewhere too, and do come near where you got your auto build ability. But they don't stop there. These statues lead farther southwest into the depths. Uh -huh. Where they go is anyone's guess, but I bet there's a destination far beyond that building worth seeing. Oh. I'll keep gathering info about what's in the depths, but so be sure to stop by and check with me. Yeah, but check in with me sometime. Okay, what are you? Huh? Swordsman, are you okay over there? You look like you were somewhere else just now. Oh, I bet you're interested in that strange stone, huh? We discovered it in the depths. It looks both naturally formed and as though it's been carved into. We don't know much about it, as you can probably tell. There's still so much to learn. <laughs> Once I'm done with my current investigation, I plan to start digging into it more. You who stand before me. I am the one who returns Poe's to the afterlife where they belong. Offer Poe's to me. They are spirits that ought to return to the afterlife. Poe's? Poe's are pitiful beings who have lost their way home and wander the depths of this land. Good, evil, that's the futile perspective of narrow-minded beings. There is no such distinction in wandering spirits. You have already attained Poe's. Okay, here. Oh yes, this is indeed a Poe. I have returned the lost spirit to the afterlife where it belongs. Since I was brought here to the surface, I have been unable to return Poe's to the afterlife. Because of you, I can assist them once again. You should take this. Dark clump. Offer me more pose and I'll give you suitable compensation. Ah, oh, it's like a, yeah. I think I'll save for the tunic. If I would have, you know what? Where are they? Maybe another time. Okay. If I would have known that, I wouldn't have offered it. Like that's just annoying. That's one more I could have spent on the tunic. I really appreciate you fixing up my balloon. Ultra thanks. That auto build thing is pretty darn amazing. Hmm, I should have a good think about all the practical uses of that someday. Oh, that reminds me. Hey, you, listen up. Now that Joshua has solved the mystery of the slate, I can return to the Parapad Laboratory in Hateno Village. If you go there, I can make even more improvements to your Parapad, starting with the sensor. You'll find the lab in East Nakluda off in the southeast corner of Hyrule. On its far side is Hateno Village. Go a bit further than that, and you'll see a mighty peculiar place. Don't let the looks fool you, it's a cutting edge lab. Alright, I'm going to head over there. I'll be waiting for you to arrive. See you in Hateno Village. Don't keep me waiting. Yeah, this is what I wanted to do. Um, now. I don't have Hateno Tower, which is interesting, but it doesn't matter. So 
actually worth following quests this time around, which is neat. Because <sighs> they get you to good places and the, the rewards are decent. Okay. I've been thinking about the pizza that they showed here. Tomorrow I'm going to have a pizza. This looks so appetizing, some of the food in this game. Just wish it did more beyond, well, the basic stuff. Is this forest still good for ingredients? I want to see. Hmm. Hmm. Doesn't... Okay, it still has sun room. As long as it has that. Oh, I already got a photo of it. Oh, right, because it was in a store. I was like, how did I get a photo of it without picking one up? It's because it was in a store. Or I have horn, I need scale. Just aim straight up and hopefully it'll hit. It didn't hit, I'm out of arrows. <laughs> I'm out of arrows. What time is it? It's like, okay, around 5 p.m. over here. See, that's not fair. That's kind of a better angle, but okay. I will note that. It's like, I'm gonna stand here. This is a dragon spot. Yeah, it's just a amount of arrows. <laughs> Hello. Okay, this makes sense. Now... There's something that'll let us get to the lab really easily. I was wondering if there was going to be something right next to the lab. So this will just how what what did I do? Because these are usually only given when you solve something. So how was I worthy? <laughs> I'm so confused. Unless there's some 
Unless there was some clue that maybe I pick I was going to pick up at some point, but why? I've done things that are way more involved and haven't been worthy enough. I've gone to great lengths to get to some of these shrines sometimes and not worthy. This one, just walk into a cave. Yes, congratulations. Traveler, you have done well to reach this place. All right, well, I got enough for another heart, so that's good. Where is Frog? There is Frog. Can't believe that worked. I don't have arrows, so now I'm throwing. <laughs> so dumb. I don't have a choice. Do I do I have to headshot it? Do I really have to headshot it? have a bow. This is annoying. I might regret this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that looked brutal. <laughs> oh, that looked funny. That was great. I, I got it, but it's just, it just looked comical. It's just... Scorched Earth policy. Oh look, there's balloons here. Ah! Oh, what an excellent night. Hey, you. The Parapad Laboratory is ready for us to do some great things together. First, let's get that sensor up and running. Come on, let me see that Parapad. This will only take a moment. One, and a two, and a three, and a four. Oh. Dunzo. Now the sensor will make a sound if there are shrines near you. Okay, that wraps up my chatting about it. Try testing out the sensor. Oh. Hmm, that's odd. The sensor reacts when you're moving towards the shrine. There's a shrine in the cave at the bottom of the hill, but the sensor isn't reacting whatsoever. Oh. What? You already found it? I'd expect nothing less from you. That sensor will still be invaluable. It's the product of my brilliance, after all. I'd expect nothing less from me. Oh. Well, I've told you what you need to know about that sensor, but I fear it's gone in one ear and out the other. So hang on a minute. Oh. Okay, the details look correct, and I'll post it right here. Yes, very good. Here you go, the operation instructions for the sensor, because you're stupid. Now, you can review the sensor feature anytime you want. Just read the poster there, because you're stupid. 
Now you begin to see the true potential of the Parapad. But I'm nowhere near done yet. I've created new features for that device while I was waiting here for you. Yes, I whipped up some prototypes of these extra features and can get them on your Parapad at any time. This is, with some help from you, getting some final data I need in order to activate them perfectly. Let's talk if you want those upgrades. Enjoy that sensor. A taste of great things to come. Until then. Hey. Hey, you. We have more work to do. Your Parapad is nowhere near its full capability yet. The Parapad will be even better after I add some extra features. Those include the most essential one, the travel medallion feature that lets you set up gates for instant travel anywhere. There's also a hero's path mode. Oh, thank fuck. It shows where you have traveled. Finally, sensor plus, which helps you find even more than shrines. The Parapad will be perfect once I've installed all of these. But first, I'll need you to gather some test data so I can find you in my prototypes. So let's get to work on that pad. This one. Hero's Path Mode is an outstanding addition if you do a lot of investigating. Truth is, there's a tracking feature installed on the Parapad. Hero's Path Mode lets you see this feature on screen. It's a brilliant system that lets you see the exact path you've taken. But before I can install the prototype, I need, I'll need i need to get data from 15 shrine locations from you. Done. <laughs> what? You've got the data. Hurry, hurry up. Let, let me see that parapet. I get the feeling I have all of them already. Now give me just a moment. 256 hours of gameplay. You'll ever see the path you've traveled so far on your map. Good. Oh, yes, I should prepare operation instructions for this feature too because you're dumb. Hang on a minute. Okay, details are correct and I'll post it right here. Yes, very good. Here you go, the operation instructions for Heroes Path Mode, dummy. Now you can review the Heroes Path Mode feature anytime you want. Just read the poster over there. Though, you can use Heroes Path Mode. Now, your parapad is still not perfect. Yeah, I won't. give me the rest. Travel Medallion. Let's you instantly travel to a gate you've established elsewhere. But we're gonna have to have a little bit of an extra challenge with all this. Come on now, give me a parapet for a moment. Look here, in distant Akala, up in the northeastern corner, is the Akala Ancient Tech Lab, which is also my home. That's where my prototype of the Travel Medallion feature is. I started work on it back there. Okay. I'd go get it myself, but the word is that some dangerous trespassers have made themselves at home there. That's why I'd like you to I'd like to have you with all your great talents go there and fetch my travel medallion prototype. To speed this journey along, well, the return journey anyway. Hmm, where was it again? Ah, here it is. I've activated a travel gate outside this lab. Now you can get here instantly, if not faster. You'll need to make your own way to the Akala Ancient Tech Lab, however. You'll find the travel medallion prototype in a chest before beside my desk there. Should be easy enough to find. Okay. I'll probably go get that. That's going to be useful. Want to hear anything else about my inventions? Your parapad will grow to its full potential. Uh, sensor plus. Excellent. Very good thinking. Being curious about this feature. It allows you to pinpoint the location of more than shrines, many more things. That's why it's called Sensor Plus. You select what you want from the compendium, but I can't add my prototype without some extra data, so you need to fill your compendium with at least five types of monsters. <laughs> what? Oh. Unbelievable, you can't do that. Then I can install the sensor upgrade right away. Let me have the parapad for a moment. Now, just give me a moment. Ah. -da 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 -da. Now you can search for more than just shrines. Just select what you want to find from the Hyrule Compendium. Okay, so it's just the, the travel medallion. 
And since you're so stupid, I'm going to put instructions on my blackboard for you. Actually, I have a compendium on my own. <laughs> That's my compendium database. It's got everything you could possibly want to find details about. Oh, yes, it's all there. Creatures, monsters, materials, equipment, and even different kinds of treasure. In short, a perfect collection of what you might one day achieve in your own Hyrule compendium on the Parapad. Curious? I invite you to access the database and see it for yourself. Oh, yes, I should prepare operation instructions for this feature, too. Hang on a second, dummy. Okay, details are correct. <laughs> yes, very good. Here you go. The operation instructions for the Sensor Plus feature. Now you can review Sensor Plus details anytime you want. Just read the poster there, you dingus. Also, though you can use the Sensor Plus feature now, your parapad is still not perfect yet. Yeah, okay. What the fuck is this thing? <laughs> what? What is this thing? It looks like a... It looks like a... It almost looks like some some aquatic thing. Anyway. Oh, oh, look at this. Wow. This this looks kind of neat. Ah. And that's got a... Yeah, I mean, for Korok hunting, this is great. Now this is going to make a lot more sense. What is this like? I'm guessing that's a teleport. Yeah, this is cool. Alright. Glad I did this. Alright, so now we have the shrine sensor, so it should make things better. Let's take a look at our side quests for a minute. You know where you're going when you play the game. Yeah, go to the underground and then do this. It's... I should have done this sooner. Uh, Farron Stable, Presential Princess Signings. Peace in the Cluder. Okay, we can do that. Investigate the ruins up north. The Isle Protected by Dragons is up north. Um, pictures, Master Coke, don't worry about that. The Wells, the Duchess Who Disappeared, the Legacy of Rito. Um, the Duchess Who Disappeared. Let's go do that now. Now that I have a way to detect shrines. Well, I mean, I think it's pretty safe to say the Korok Mask is in the game, then. Because it's got all the other DLC stuff. It's just... Currently, don't have a way of getting into the, uh... The forest. Oh. It should be. I'm just getting that for, uh, good measure. Arrows. Yes, please. Oh. Oh. I'm going to go to each of the towns <laughs> now. We're going to Kakariko Village and I'm buying arrows. It should be. I'd be shocked if it wasn't at this point. I guess I can talk to this dude as well. Oh. 
According to stone tablet, yeah. Oh. oh, you have one? Show me. Again, I'm just gonna read his interpretation. Mm. Oh. Here's what the original text says. Don't, don't care. <laughs> Not gonna attempt to read that. Oh my oh. god. I'll walk you through this one. The subject here is the actions of King Raru and King Sonia undertook not long after Hyrule's founding. Mm. With the kingdom established, they were worried for their people, so they set out to eradicate the monsters troubling them. They created structures called Shrines of Light to seal the monsters away so they could never be revived. There's more here about Light and Time too. The sense I get is that the two of them may have had supernatural powers. Ah. Though, it's not part, though it's part of ancient history, it's a feat those of us living today should still be grateful for. Truly an important discovery. Very good. And as promised, I have a reward for you. Good. Huh. The thought of such incredible historical artifacts falling down all over Hyrule is so exciting. According to the stone tablet, there are nine. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> ah. Mm. You're welcome to have a look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same as last time. Oh. Okay. Oh, yes. Oh. All the owls, yes. Ma. Um, that's, the rest is okay. How many arrows do I have now? Still not enough, but definitely in a better position. Oh yeah, hold on. This goddess statue has a bib. as well. I want the rest of the set, so you know. <laughs> Glow in the dark. I mean, this is this is a novelty set. Okay. Um. There's. I think the liberation thing is is close by. So hold on. It's over there. Okay, it's it's down the road. I mean, I haven't really gone there, really. Eh. What else have we got? We got. Hold on. Maybe I should do the Farron one. I know I said I would do the mountain thing, but hold on. Is we nearby? Um. I got a statue of courage. Not that one. Up. 
I've probably gone past it a couple times. That one. Okay. It's not, it's not too bad, so. Let's go from here. It's not too bad, it's not that far away. I didn't find them. Um, there's multiple to find, so I found a few. The quest doesn't end until you have uh, all of them, so. There's a dragon on the bridge, which I've been ignoring. Oh, no. I need to reach my friend. Where's your friend? <laughs> okay. But it's just... And that's funny. Okay, I know how to write. I know how to write. So. There go. Bleep. your friend over there. This is not gonna work. But we'll, we'll, we will try our best little friend. You know what? That went better than I thought it would. surprisingly well. No harm came to the little little Korok buddy. Is that do I think it is over there? I think it is. Okay, it's done. Yeah, this hero path kind of interesting if you look at how I've gone. Very different to the previous one. <laughs> Less systematic and more of a mess. That's fine. things in the sky. Uh, that's a that's a distraction. I'm gonna say no to that. Well, I should mark it on the map at the very least. Okay. This game is very good at just throwing stuff in the path of where you want to go. 
Yeah, okay, still the Hinox things. It's fine. I didn't want it. My body is filling with a mysterious power. Power! Ah, I need more bubble gems. I'm sorry. Now that I am myself once more, please, here's the treasure I promised you. Not a good price. This, however, it is. What is this? Let's see. Three, I'll give you an item of value. I'll give you the mystic robe. Okay. I am overjoyed. Yes, I am. I knew you'd come through, traveler. I dally no more. Here I go. Oh, my body is filling with mysterious power. I need more bubble gems. I must have more. I'm sorry. Now that I'm myself once more, please. Rupee padding. Oh, this is like the magic armor from previous games. That's cool. I mean, later, just stack money. Fire case eyeball. Yeah, I don't have a choice, so. He has an addiction. Yep. It's like the dude with the uh, the rush rooms talking about how he tried his first rush room when he was a kid and then had to eat him every day and now just needs his fix <laughs> as an adult. Yeah. Sure. It looks like it goes one clothing and then one that's materials. I'm an enabler. Uh, I can't be held responsible for people's actions. That's good. I got I got the pants. Can't kneel? That's kind of boring. I wish we could kneel in the shot, but let's just... Oh. I mean, yeah, that's totally what we're depicting here. the thumbnail for, for this one. My my job is done. I just have to get that. Um, hold on. So, let's just look at it. There we go. That'll be the thumbnail for this later. <laughs> Alright. Uh, what was I wearing before? <laughs> I believe it was- well, we don't need that anymore. I mean, we, we got pure stealth. I think, to be honest, this setup is kind of nice, but... 
like have a, an attack up and then yeah just three utilities I wonder if you can, um, colour that clothing. I mean, don't get me wrong, the, the baby blue is nice. Just curious, there's a cave down here. These things only appear near, near caves. No, you know what? No. Changing my mind. I need the arrows. I figured out that the blue peas appear where there's caves. I'll go with this. Okay. Yeah, but can't I just... Much of a puzzle. I mean, it looks like there's a bunch of stuff here. and more. Just enable it. Alright, Jesse. It's one more cook and then we're out. <laughs> Just fucking Walter White with the blue crystal. stable that I'm looking for. Is there a... I suppose I should keep collecting. Oh, it's different this time. It has a different sound. It's less uh, harsh. It's a little bit more subtle. What is this? We'll look at this in a minute. Do this first. 
So we have a travel point here. Oh, it's another glee. Long or wide? This is just a better version of the golf thing they had in, uh, in Breath of the Wild. I think I need a... Huh? I mean, I kind of just want to get this, so... Oh, I see. Making a uh hold on. Whilst this is happening. Come on. There it is. There we go. Oh, what is it getting caught on? This? This, this would make sense. Okay. <laughs> no, not the- ah! Okay, it's fine. It's fine. There we go. Oh, come on. Bullshit. Full swing. There we go. Like I'm sure there's you could cheese this. But this is this is fun. I'm sure there's a way to cheese this. Okay, that's all I that's all I need to see. Okay. That's cool. It, it, it definitely didn't attach. Fuck 
sec. I just attached it to the bowl, didn't I? Probably not a bad idea. Just to get its placing. Okay. What now? Oh, it's stuck. The problem is this automatic snapping thing. Like it's making this harder than it needs to be. I line it up in the spot where I think it's gonna work and then it's like, Oh, you mean here? You mean here? You mean on the ball? Yeah, you mean on the ball. Um, getting to that point where, like, patience is starting to wear thin. Okay, can I just get this fucking thing out of the way? It's just... Being a nuisance. That seems okay. I think. This is highly unnecessary. I mean, I'm just looking up ahead, that's all. At this point, I feel like I should just stop fucking around. Okay, and now bring it back. Sorry, you know what? The puzzle's over. This is this is just this is unnecessary extras. The puzzle ended already. The fun is over. I don't even need to do it that complicated, it's just one stage of it. Oh, 
shit. It's okay. See that? It should be okay because it's kind of enclosed. Yeah, it's fine. There's absolutely no way that this gets messed up now. Probably not worth it, but I'll just repeat this now. There we go. <laughs> it's just it's fine. Some of the treasure chests are worth it, others are not. Only 10 30 in the morning for you. Uh it's okay. You've got three a day, I'm sure. I got a long day tomorrow, so. Yeah, what is this? This is new. Also, there's no bokoblins in this area. Kind of peaceful here. What is this? I hope Captain Flaxel and the squad are alright. Oh, hey, things are pretty dicey ahead. Captain Flaxel's monster control squad is executing an operation here. Oh, it's another one. There's a pirate ship moored on the shore of Minoet River to the west. But never fear, the monster control crew is on their way to take it out. A pirate ship? <laughs> Why am I not out there with them? Because I keep them fed. I'm a cook. In fact, I just threw together a new recipe while I was holding down the floor. Here, give it a try. Mighty steamed... Mighty steamed meat. That doesn't sound appetizing. <laughs> been wrapped in fragrant leaves. <laughs> Mighty steamed meat. Ah, Superintendent Chalmers, I hope you're ready for a delectable luncheon. Mmm, mmm, steamed meat. I mean, steamed ham. I thought you said we were having steamed clams. No, 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 no.
that it tastes like leather, probably, yeah. I mean, that there are certain cooking techniques with steaming that makes meat taste, taste good. Um... Like, if you've ever had this Chinese dish called Hainan Chicken, very good. It's steamed chicken, but the way they do it, it makes it very fragrant and nice. Like, it's got a lot of flavor. For what it- for what it is, you describe it as steamed chicken, it's- it's pretty amazing. And then they have it with this rice. It's like a fragrant rice. I don't know what they do with it. I'm pretty sure they put it in chicken stock or something. But it's good stuff. You only get shrimp from Chinese places. The chicken doesn't look like chicken to you. Ah, well... The chicken... I mean, it depends. This looks like chicken, but it, it might just look a bit weird. But... If you just... hang on. It's definitely worth a try. It's really good. Um... Hang on. Yeah, it's like this. Put the image there. Chat. It's it's not like uh the fast food Chinese style. Where it's it's just like deep fried chicken pieces. This is yeah. That's good. Uh... Oh. Man, that didn't work. <laughs> it's like quarter hot. What a waste. I guess some things are better at cooking than others. Ah, uh, let me see. I need something. I don't want to waste that. Use it to recover more hearts. I guess we can do... The old two... I mean, Sky Shroom should work, right? Two on two. Tomato mushroom stew. We're just going to ignore the meat that I, I got. That's fine. The chicken in the picture looks good. The chicken you see here looks nothing like that. That's fair. I guess I'm a bit spoilt here. Because <laughs> the Chinese restaurants are not like fast food level. Like a lot of the food is like that. It's good ingredients. and I mean, you do get your like uh, fast food style. Chinese restaurants, but a lot of them do food like that, which is pretty damn good. I ran out of healing food last time, so let's just... <laughs> I think this should be okay for now. Just as long as I have some semblance of healing. Um, do I have salt? I should have salt. I have plenty of salt. So do the old salt. And this. That should do. I 
I can hear I can hear the uh the flute. Is that what is that? Crepe. But see, I mean this is nice. But again, it's just one of these things where it's just probably not although this one doesn't have this one shouldn't have yeah, it's just... Hey! The cooking in this game and the previous one was just so disappointing. It could have been something else and better, but they just didn't improve it at all. Uh, yeah, that's a bit better on the arrows. Okay. Oh. Hey there, partner. You're working really hard and really late, aren't you? Even without wings, you've traveled all the way out here. That shows some serious reporter spirit. Well, let me give you the scoop. Some folks have heard a voice near here that sounds like Princess Zelda. I heard the chirps and warbles from my little birds and headed straight here, but something is fishy. For starters, the strange voice is crowing from Fural Plain to the northwest night after night. After night. Leave the er arms? Leave the arms? What? At least that's what I heard. I didn't get too close. Got out of there fast. Felt like a curse just blowing through on the wind. No, sir. Not going to think about it. Anyway, the all the travelers who heard the eerie voice have gotten spooked by it. They've been throwing their weapons down the well. And then running away as fast as they can. Could the voice really belong to Princess Zelda? She's not usually so haunting. All we can do is seek out the truth, partner, even if it's a little scary. Okay. Mm. <laughs> In the background. I need to get to my friend! Hey, partner. You, f you find this all a little scary, aren't you? Can't blame you one bit if you are. Me? Not at all. Totally fine. Just worried about you is all. What I'm saying is, I think we should investigate the story together. Just give me a shout before you head out. Actually, don't shout. We shouldn't talk too loudly. Ah, I saw it in the background. I mean, these are fun. But dude, this is the ultimate level of just distraction. What the fuck? Okay. No, oh, my friend and I got separated. Okay, that's not, too, that's not too bad. My friend is sending up a smoke signal. I can't wait to catch up. Okay. How do we... It doesn't look like I, there's anything I can use here. I mean, this one, I... <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> Come back here! This one, I think, is just, uh, yeah. Just climb up. Oh. Yeah, unfortunately, it doesn't really let me go any higher. Hmm. Wait a minute. Why shouldn't this work? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. You gotta be kidding me! Oh, fuck off. <laughs> 
why why do they why why do you why 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 do they insist on having the system in the game i don't understand it's not depth it's not ambience it's just shit the rain is ambience the slipping not ambient Yes, slip resistant to help the player achieve their goals. Gear that acknowledges the problem but does not remove the problem from the game because it is a perfectly valid system. Yes. You want to play games without slipping? Go play Skyrim. It's on 40 different consoles. You can get it easily. Go play the baby game. Would have I would have had that right away if the game wasn't just a massive dick. the best weather, eh, partner? It's been around the time the eerie voice has been heard on the floral plane to the northwest. Let's go. Okay, we can do this, partner. Let's head to the floral plane to the north northwest. Follow me. Hi. Hey, partner, over here. Oh, you mean, like, 20 steps that way? Is, is this what we're getting? Did you hear that part now? <laughs> uh, that's the voice, all right, and it's close by. Is it Princess Zelda, though? Might be, but where's it coming from? My legs won't move, my wings won't flap. I'd duck out of here if I could, but I can't. It picks up on the fact that it's a uh, fabric, so that's cool. If you do not have... What? Okay. Oh, yes! Time to be naked! Leave the arms, leave the arms, or if not, I'll do you harm. Seek the storm, seek the storm. Fear it not, you will stay warm. Huh? When did you get here? You need something from me. Leave the arms? What are you talking about? I wasn't singing anything remotely like that. I've never sung a song with those lyrics. Seek the storm, seek the storm. Is that maybe what you heard? Because that's what I was singing. You also heard, for if not, I'll do you harm? Leave your arms, leave your arms, or I'll kill you? <laughs> what kind of nonsensical song is that? Fear it not, you will stay warm. Those are the lyrics I was singing, and if you put it all together, Seek the storm, seek the storm, fear it not, you will stay warm. It's a song about a cute little fox who is proud of their warm fur coat, and they chase storms since they don't get cold. 
Anyway, I'm not trying to cause trouble or anything, but I don't think it's entirely my fault if people misheard things either. I just like how my voice sounds here. Prettier, more refined. Hmm. <sighs> it sounded fine to me, but everyone else is hearing dire threats. Leave the arms? I guess that explains why weapons kept getting thrown in the well every morning. <sighs> they could be dangerous, so I collected them all over there. I've got no interest in them, so feel free to help yourself. Aye! Hey, you down there, partner? What's going on? Tell me everything. We're not going to get to pick the weapons? Oh. Out with it, partner. What'd you discover? Is it Prince... Uh, is Princess Zelda down there? Why are you naked? <laughs> is It's just someone uh, singing in a well? She's just practicing? Uh, I see. And her voice echoed off the walls, making it sound like the princess's voice. Acoustics are strange. And that same distortion made the lyrics she was singing sound more like threats to everyone who heard her? <laughs> ha, so the mystery is solved. Now I know why I had all those goosebumps. I sensed one heck of a story coming my way. Thanks for your help, partner. You know, we've now chased five of the leads that might have had something to do with Princess ah. Zelda. Your investigations are the talk of the office at the Lucky Clover Gazette. You've really shown some promise, and it turns out the paper is doing really well thanks to the articles we keep putting together. Which is why Tracy told me we're both getting raises. Go on, add this to your nest egg, partner. Okay, I'll head back to the office and write this one up. I'd better hurry too, we wouldn't want more people thinking the princess was casting spells from a well. Until next time. Bye. So long! Sora along. Boomerang, blue mold and pulverize. Yeah, I mean, it's nothing great. Let me. Yeah, that'll do. Or maybe stealth. That's better. Oh, that that was it. Okay, out we go. Wasn't what I was here to do, but I guess may as well. I need to get the uh, the flute player. So, when Link travels through walls, his shields and all that stuff travels through walls as well. If I was to strap a Korok to my back, wouldn't that mean the Korok would travel through the wall as well? That'd be a nice way to solve it. Where's the flute? I heard the flute. Who was playing the flute? Yeah. You a nomad? Suppose you've already seen the horses around far and grasslands then. Well, I grew up taming those horses and I've polished my riding skills till they shine. In fact, I'm sure there's nobody better than me. But these days, putting my riding skills to the test isn't enough, so maybe... Be so, being the horse enthusiast I am, I've come up with a contest guaranteed to push me even further. What is this contest exactly? Aww. Why, it's a race to see how fast you can gallop around the course without losing the cargo off the horse's trailer. In fact, if you fancy yourself a skilled in horsemanship department, why don't you take a run at my record? Mm. Can't enter a horse without a horse to ride. Oh. <laughs> need the flutus? You need something, sir? I can tell you something about the area. That's what you're after. We have lots of happy horses roaming. Okay. No. Who's... The flute player. If it wasn't a cow. Mind if I ask you something that troubled my thoughts? Have you perchance seen a strange animal around here? Also, I've heard the sound of a flute somewhere. It's vexing, really, not knowing where that's coming from. A flute sound? I just remembered, while thinking of that strange animal, I was walking through the trees on the north side of the stable. Out of nowhere, I could hear... Someone playing a fun tune on a flute. But I couldn't see who it was. Not even the slightest sign of this mysterious musician. Who was playing and where? A strange animal, the sound of a flute nearby. There's 
so much to be worried about these days. That's right, it was a stocky animal that was wider than a horse and had strange horns. But it's not like a cow's or it's a, it's a lionel. Had tusks that made a beast look like a brute. I saw the animal once in the forest go off to the east. Okay. Lakeside stable. It's a lionel. That description. Okay, I can hear it. It's probably in the well. Ooh, I, I need a hammer. Uh, what are we converting to a hammer? I don't want to convert any of my... This one. I guess. Oh, but it's a halberd. Hang on. We can do better. Hold on. What's... I really don't have low tier stuff, huh? The Boko Spear, gar the Garland Spear, there we go. This was the accident. <laughs> Remove. Okay. Okay. Oh Another like like. Oh, there's multiple of them. Uh oh. Go away. It does a lot of them. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Shit. <laughs> ah! Careful, get out, get out of the water. Piss off. leave a bomb out, they'll eat the bomb. Yeah, I mean, I tried using bombs. And it just doesn't... Doesn't do as much damage as you would hope. that, but okay. I'm trying to bait it here. That was scary. I 
Don't they usually drop... Oh. I didn't get the treasure chest of the previous one. Sure. Oh no, you can make a bomb on a stick. <laughs> so if I throw that, I mean, it'd be pretty deadly. Yep. Yeah, don't care about that. I'm going to make another hammer. I'm kind of disappointed. I was half expecting something. Oh yeah, don't care about that. <laughs> I'm good. Okay, now... Complete snake. Sneaky, sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky. See, I can just pretty much with this gear just run with them. They're not going to react. I do need to get more. It is useful. I love how it says ocean dwelling fish as a description. Ocean dwelling fish, huh? Ocean dwelling fish. Unless this is a salt lake, I don't know. Oh. A little fella. Wow, my bows are, are kind of good now. Mm. 
Armored Porgy. Mighty Porgy. Really? I know this this is great. I'm just being able to walk up to stuff and just grab it. This is gear that works as advertised, which hopefully the climbing gear is going to work like this. But once you have all the pieces, it's going to be good. Right now it's kind of underwhelming. Those things would rather death than to get caught. Yeah, it's the beach. But I didn't find the uh not find the gem, so we gotta find the gem. <laughs> I probably missed another cave entrance somewhere. carefully at the ceiling as well. Where's the the cocaine gem frog? Or the meth meth gem. The meth gem frog. There's one in every cave, so I just have to find it. <laughs> Wait, is, no, this is a well. But, okay. So this is a well, but then the other one's a cave, so which is it? <laughs> At some point, the well becomes a cave. I guess where that wall was for the passage, I guess that's where it is. I feel like I would have heard it or seen it by now, though. Good. 
I mean, this is a good cave. These fish are going to be useful. I was trying to do, but sure. out of stamina. I still don't see anything that would lead to a frog. This is going to bother me. I don't figure it out. There's been one in every single cave so far. The only difference between this cave and the other caves is it's, it is a well at one point. I can take this now. hear it. That's the thing. If you're nearby, so it's either I haven't discovered the chamber it's in, or there's nothing here, and I'm just wasting my time. I mean, okay, I did get a bunch of fish from it. been in every corner of this. Unless it's, unless it's in this room here. So at this point, this is where it becomes the the cave. So this is the well here. <laughs> where is it? No, come on, there has to be one here. One, one more look, one more look.
Tenacity. Everything is fine now. Is there any... I mean, that's not really worth smacking open. Okay. Out we go. did not stray that far away. Alright, now the flute, this flute thing, what is this? Oh. <laughs> really? Hiya, so I bet you climbed up here with me for some good reason. Need something? Well, hey, did you come to listen to my performance? Are you a stable trotter? Ah, huh? you met the stable trotters. Wow, the troop is touring again and they want all us musicians back? That's great. But, first I have to do something here. I can't go back to the stable, Trotters, until I take care of it. Come. Come on. Let's move this down there where it's safer. I need to tell you what happened here. Ooh. You might hear about this from someone at the stable, but what happened is there was a fire in the field. Yeah, right on this spot. This burned patch around us. There were some flowers here before. It was all my fault, an accident, but still my fault. You see, I have a friend who lives at the stable. Her name's Haiti. Maybe, uh, you've met her? She's been asking people if she could see a glowing tree. It's just something from a picture book, you know, it's not real. But she really wishes it was. I promised her I'd show her one. Not my brightest idea, given they don't exist. And then I was stuck. So I thought I'd just... So I thought I'd use just a little tree and a little fire make a glowing tree really quick that's all that's how things got burned here but i was only thinking on my promise to haiti besides it didn't even work i would still like to supply surprise her with a glowing tree somehow but safely so now i'm collecting fireflies i need 10 sunset fireflies do i have 10 <laughs> Shit. how many do i have None. Five. Okay, halfway. What did he say? <laughs> oh. Forest to the north. All right, you got it. I'll stay in stealth because it'll let me just get them easy. I can just walk on top of them and just collect them. <laughs> Timing's good because it's, it's just after midnight. the fireflies <laughs> I 
see them all the time. And now that I want them, they're not here. Why am I- why am I not seeing any? Well, this is still here, at least. Is it because of the rain? I swear if it's because of the rain. <laughs> It might be. Uh, ah. <laughs> ah. But I mean, are they really going gonna go to that level of realism? Just make the brain hinder you even more. Kicker is it's not like I can make a campfire. <laughs> Cause it's raining. Oh man. Couldn't there have been a tent or something this time around? This is Farron, so Farron is known to rain a lot more. But I don't have to like it. It's just... There are bloopy right next to caves. So where is this one? There it is. Wait, no, that's not cave. Where is the cave? Oh. No, this might be it. Conspicuous. Or it's just this. <laughs> An excavation site. I mean, this doesn't have- this doesn't have to be complicated. I'll pretty much be taking this. Okay, and now, rewind. I'm gonna get stuck here. Hang on.
And do I really need to make a device? I think I do. I feel like this is just... It's trying to get me to auto-build, but I'm not going to auto-build. security sensors. <laughs> it's just that, ultimately. Okay, uh, anything here? Nearly time to enable. <laughs> Has it stopped raining outside yet? Okay, it's daytime now. Where is here? I have no idea where I am. Okay, I can see where I am. Campfire. <laughs> Never mind, it's an enemy base. <laughs> Can't rest at it. Wasn't there a dude with a campsite somewhere around here? I swear I saw one. Distraction, ahoy! Oh, that's it. That's the top. Where is this? Can't even see anything worthwhile here. Go back to the, the socks. <laughs> your sister in law bought the game for your brother, excited for him to start playing. It'll be good because you get to see what they do. Compare it to what you did. It's always fun seeing that. Oh. Young man, tell me, do you seek the horse god? 
He does not. A quick sally of the face gives him away. He's got a giant... He's got the giant white stallion in his mind, and who can blame him? Giant white stallion? Oh yes, curiosity, notable horse here deep down in the valley. Okay, it's giant, it's white, it's a stallion, extremely rare. The latest talk in our field calls for such rare traits and mutation. Okay. As you can guess, the stallion is very strong. The marvelous creature refused to have anything to do with us. It escapes us every time. It won't be tamed. Yes, yes, I know. Our research into the giant white stallion is paramount. But if there's a horse god somewhere, I really want to know about it. There's been strange talk for a good while about a horse god that lives here among us. I believe it's more than just legend, or at least I hope so. It is said that this horse god can give... Bring horses back from the dead. That all might just seem laughable. Preposterous, even. But my friend and I st study horses, and if such a god exists here and can resurrect horses, then what about ancient horses? The mind reels at the possibilities. I'm willing to spend my disbelief in horse gods for the sake of ancient research. So my search goes on. But there's a complication. They say this god moved, that he was here, but he vanished. Fortunately, the tales of the horse god also abound in distant Akala. It's looking more and more likely that the god is not here if he exists at all. He could be somewhere in Akala. Wait a minute. You're not saying that we're going to Akala, are you? Because we're not. Our main research is here. We've got to see the giant white stallion. Well then, good talking. We appreciate you if you share anything with us if you hear about the horse god. Right. Um, I'm gonna make it night time while I'm here. <laughs> I swear if it rains. Didn't think I'd be saying that for this playthrough. Well, first of all... Right. That makes sense. Where are you going? Friend. <laughs> This is like the giant horse in the previous game, but now it's... It's, uh, yeah. It's this color. Hey. God, you the horse god, god. Are you being for real? What it? Hey, it can't be. Wake up, Ginny. Oh, that horse. That must be. There's no mistaking it. That's the giant white stallion we've been trying to research. Seeing it this close, that horse is just so intimidating. It's so large. I feel so small. Words fail me. One thing I can say with certainty is that a mutation is in play here. What a discovery. A horse of this size, capturing it must have been hard, and riding it next to impossible. Young man, you are remarkable. We still haven't learned about what I am personally searching for, however. The horse god. If you happen to find out anything about a god... Yeah, but... Reward. Okay, wow. I make your dreams come true, and that's it. I mean, if you look at one of its legs, it's the size of the link. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm good. Ha 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 
I may as well, I guess, put it in the stable. Still not friendly with me. I'm trying to stop, stop. What are you doing? Oh my god, it won't slow down. There we go. Hey! Yeah! Okay. One tiny point. Another reward available. Oh, it looks like you got some points saved up. Yeah, yeah. Uh, register it. Yes. Okay. There we go. Ah. Oh. Okay. Hasn't moved since the upheaval. Not even a strong wind can make a budge. What do you think's going on there? What's the reward? Hey. I'll be right with you. Ah. You'd like to get your pony points reward, right? For seven points, you unlock the bed. You sleep in the Melania bed. Not only will you be more energized. The horse god will just share a mythical message. Ah. You will to rest with just one additional horse. Okay. Beetle, do you have... Yes, sir, sir. You do. Wow! Wow! Good stuff. That makes things easier. I just have to catch, catch two now. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Wait, if you collect them. Okay. Oh, it's like now Beetle's gone full conservationist. I just, I just need two more, man. <laughs> just two more. I mean, I know a spot where there's definitely some, but it involves fast travel. They're always in Kakariko Village. Oh, the skies are not looking happy. Okay, they're here. Um, yep, it's because of the rain. It is because of the rain. So that's another another reason. And you know what? That slipping thing doesn't really help that situation at all. There's nothing you can do, it's just, well, you can't collect bugs. Shulin, don't you dare. I mean, that'll do. Okay. Because I am a lazy.
The only thing I wish is that the uh, the clone had some personality and you could have the voice a little bit. But I kind of get why it doesn't. Oh, ah, really? You have them? With your fireflies and some I've also collected, I can attract even more fireflies and then I can make the glowiest of glowing trees. Um, while you're helping, can you do me one more favor? This will only work when the fireflies are glowing, so I'd like you to bring Haiti to the spot while it's still dark. If Haiti's sleeping, bring her on a different night instead. Oh, and I want it to be a big surprise. You'll give it away if you say I'm working on this. Okay, see you both later. How late is it? It's 2.25 in the morning, so probably can't bring her tonight. Oh wait, no, she's up, she's up, she's up. Hey, good evening. Piper isn't back, even though it's night. Honestly, where'd he go? Hi, follow me, please. Huh? Alright, what's all this about, stranger? Where are we going, stranger? You leading me away from... from here, stranger? Stranger dressed as a ninja? With a sword? Guess I'm just gonna have to trust you. I'm heading back. Almost dead. Ah! She was like, fuck this, I'm going back to bed. <laughs> she actually went back to bed. Yeah, clearly doesn't know about stranger danger. Although I guess she went back to bed, so... Follow me, please. Where are we going? Dude, we are right. We are right here. We are right here. Where are we going? Right here? Bah. Admittedly, it does look kind of nice. I mean, how many did he catch? <laughs> I feel like for the number he had, asking me to get 10, it's like, come on, dude. You have enough, clearly. Wow, this is so much prettier than the one I saw in the book. It's just like I see it in my dreams. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I saw the best glowing tree ever. <laughs> I feel really happy. Happy, did you hear that? Yep, finally happy. What a relief. I knew there was a bright smile in there somewhere. Good for Haiti. But it's going to take more than that to keep her smiling. I need to do what I can to make sure that happens. I figured it out. I'm going back to the stable trotters. I'll get better and better at playing my flute. More fun, more amazing, because if the crowds love my music, then Haiti will too, and she'll always smile when she hears it. Well, anyway, thanks a lot. You helped me with all sorts of stuff, so you can have this if you want. I'm heading out soon. If we meet again somewhere, my music is going to make you grin from ear to ear. Okay, and now... We can go back to... Yeah. Finally. I can't imagine doing a no fast travel playthrough for this one, because it seems in this one that Quests matter a lot more than they used to. So this would just take forever. Ah, oh, it's you. Look, I mean, listen to this. Piper's here. Our flutist Piper has made a triumphant return. Who knew how spitting Piper really was? Not I. Affairs of the heart are something I have yet to experience firsthand. Well, anyway, 
The return of Piper's delightful flute has revitalized the stable trotters. We're ready to make some music. But I'd better save some energy for the performance and not fritter it all away on chatting. By the way, I remember you, Traveller. Are you here out of concern for the Great Fairy? No. No? Am I wrong? You're not here to meet the Great Fairy Kesa? Perhaps you can't, came here to visit the outskirts stable. No. I'm sorry to say the Great Fairy here has also withdrawn into a flower bud and hasn't come out for a while. She must be scared to appear just like what happened at Woodland Stable. This Great Fairy used to enjoy hearing Piper play in our troop. She loved the sweet notes of his flute. So I'm sure the sound of his flute would cheer her up now, but... Oh. The road has been blocked by some rocks that tumbled out of the sky. I thought maybe we could drive over it. And we did make it about halfway, but the rubble's too much. No horses can get past it. Alas, our little jaunt took its toll. Oh. Poor Breezer, the indispensable sixth member of our troop, has broken down yet again! Breezer has been has seen us through thick and thin. Without her, our hearts would not be in our performance. Oh. I'm thankful Piper has returned. I'm so worried about the Great Fairy that I just can't lead the players with my usual flair. No. Okay, I guess I have to fix this again. What, we're turning this into a monster truck now? <laughs> this just seems dumb. But okay. Oh! Okay, there we go. That's the foundation. Is this thing just going to get progressively more and more silly? Okay, wheels facing forward. There we go. Okay. <laughs> it's just... Stop, 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 stop. That's not... Game, please. Okay, I think this is probably this. Nope. I was like, this is the smart way to do it. It's not. No, the music's great. It's good to hear classic themes in the game. I just wish they would play more often, you know? Why- why are you trying to- why is it trying to stick it to the back wheel? That's such an odd thing to prioritize. When the glow of the blood-stained moon shines upon the land, Aimless spirits of slain monsters return to flesh. The world is threatened once again. Okay. Oh. Okay. 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 Did I put it the right way? Yes, arrows are, facing, arrows are facing all the correct way. It's not perfect, but it'll do. Okay. Um. <laughs> get in, I'll handle it. I've been waiting for those very words. Everyone, get on board before he changes his mind. What's going on? The breezer is rocking. 
But don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, friend. Just relax. Relax. Everything's going to be fine. Stop that. There we go. Okay, it doesn't allow it. <laughs> I was gonna get creative and attach rockets and stuff, but okay. Hold on. Well, they have to unfuck this now. I have to make a bridge. Not really what I have to do. This just seems annoying. I mean, they said rubble is in the way. But why'd I attach those wheels onto it then? <laughs> you know what? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I'm all about that convolution. I, have to, I just have to make like a stable road ish, I guess. That seems pretty good to me. Thanks. What are you- What are you- Stop! <laughs> Stop doing that. Okay, that's all- That's all I wanted. Seems okay, I think. Right, now I need to make a landing for it. flat. That should be okay. I think. I hope. I just attach a horse carriage wheel to it. I, just, I went with the complicated option. Monster trucking the thing. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> I mean, okay. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know about this one. If I can walk up it, fine. You would think. I think I need to adjust this one. Yeah. It's a bit silly. 
That's uh, kind of. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see how this goes. They've probably gotten out of it by now. Hey. Ah. Okay. Ah. Take horse. Now we can't have to be this one. Ah. Okay. Ah. 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 Ooh. Ah. 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 So stupid. Oh, this is so stupid. <laughs> it, do it doesn't connect. <laughs> Get it off. Dude. Fuck it, good enough. No. Okay, get in! Yeah, yeah. Hop in! This is not gonna work. This is not going to work. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> 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 Just, just, just a sec. Oi! Yep. Oh, I've, I've completely fucked this up. Oi! Um, okay, hold on. One would hope, right? <laughs> okay. Maybe we don't need the horse. made it worse. The ramp didn't do shit, it made it worse. Oh. Just calm down. <laughs> yeah, the convoluted answer. I was thinking, yeah, let's make it safer. No, just... Safer, fucking idiot. an NPC. <laughs> it's stuck. I can't move. <laughs> I can't move. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I can't. I can't get it. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> oh my god. 
<laughs> it's stuck. I can't control it. No matter what button I press, it just spins around in a circle. <laughs> oh my god. All right, get off it. Dude, just... Are we good? Wait for the battery. Shut up! We just drifted around the village. I'll just calm down. This is nothing. There we go. Smooth sailing from here. Great fairy, we're here. Now prepare for the performance of a lifetime. Oh, that took way too much effort. How did he even get stuck in between the wheels? I don't even... Like... <laughs> First I drove over the horse, then <laughs> somehow because of that height, the villager got stuck. Look, Piper, look, she's awakened. Oh, I didn't know she'd be so shiny. Yeah, yeah. Thank you again. I have a reward for you, and it's too much for these pockets to handle. No need to be humble. You deserve this. That's better. Now I can concentrate on our performance. The captivating Kesa is now in at peace. But she wasn't the great fairy still shut away... Oh, she wasn't the last great fairy still shut away in her flower yeah, bud. Yeah. That's why the show must go on to the next great fairy's hiding place. Thank you once again, Traveler. Mm. Mm, so you're the one who brought the musical troupe to me, aren't you? Don't be shy, I could tell it was you, even while I was hiding. Perhaps your reward should be me joining you as a co-adventurer, hmm? Ha, I'm only teasing you, but you get even cuter when you're blushing. Why do these fairies just hit on Link? <laughs> I really can't thank you enough, young man, but that won't stop me from trying. If you have the materials needed to enhance a piece of clothing, I'll gladly help you. So why don't you let me take a peek in that little pouch of yours? Mm. With the power available to me, I can... Yeah, now we got uh. tier two. Okay. missing oh firefly shit okay but we can take these at least to the next level i'm gonna need fireflies gee i'm gonna need fireflies yeah yeah you don't have to say this every time But at least now this is a set that has a, a standard of one. Uh, mm. 
Uh, what else can I do? That's a that's a lot. Um, this one is tier one, so let's get this to tier two as well. Because I use this one pretty often. That's a no-brainer. That cost is just negligible. You have to pay for it now. Yeah, that's a processing cost. Yeah, easy. That's decent armor for that. It's not too bad. I guess they don't want you to get to the maximum power so quickly. is just the stuff which I'm not really that interested in. That's a lot to upgrade these. I mean, I think I got enough to go with. What do I need in general? Let's see. Fireflies, more nightshade. Um, Silent Princess, light dragon scale, so it's in the sky. Um, what about... Ooh, I need Lionel parts for this one. Of course I do. That one's not going to happen for a while. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Consider a special uh. request for me. I hear my young sister Katera is near a stable not far from Dueling Peaks off Nekluda to the east. Take care. That's not that far away. They're a lot, they are a lot closer this time around, if you notice. They're kind of in a cluster... Gravitating around central Hyrule. Like, the furthest one away is, is this one. But most of them, they're within reach. Before, they were pretty far away from one another. Okay, chat. This is where I'm leaving it for tonight. After that, uh... Little excursion to this hill here. I think end on a high note or low note, depending on <laughs> what you thought of that. But, um, I got work tomorrow and I got a really long day ahead, so I need to get some sleep. But, hope you enjoyed as always, and, uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in. Appreciate it. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow, and we'll continue this, so tune in for that. In the meantime, you can watch more of my content on YouTube. All the streams for this have been put up pretty much right away, so you can catch up if you've missed out on anything. So just search for the channel over there, or uh, just go to shambles.gg. has links to all the YouTube content and everything else I do on the internet, so I hope you do check that out. And if you're watching later on YouTube, consider pressing buttons and commenting and all that algorithm driving fun stuff, if you have the time. But yeah, thanks for watching everyone. I'm gonna get some sleep. And uh, I'll see you over the weekend. We'll do some retro stuff as well, so look forward to that. Alright, bye chat.